Good morning. This is the HVO Kilauea update for June 11th. In the lower east rift zone, Fissure 8 now has three closely spaced lava fountains erupting to maximum heights of 115 to 130 feet and is still feeding a channelized lava flow to the ocean entry at Kapoho. This morning's helicopter flight confirmed that the channel is still full but that there have been no recent spillovers. Last night, weak lava activity was observed at fissures 16 and 18. Gas emissions from fissure 8 are still high and are nearly twice the value of the last two weeks, so VOG is still a concern in the area. Crews have been on site 24-7 tracking the fountains, lava flows, and spattering in the Lower East Rift Zone. The cracks on Highway 130 are also being monitored, and no changes in temperature, width, or gas output have been seen for several days. Overnight, there were two explosions at Kilauea Summit. The first smaller event occurred at 12.46 a.m. Following this event, there was no significant drop-off in seismicity until after the second larger explosion at 4.43 a.m. Inward slumping of the rim and walls of Hale Ma'u Ma'u continues in response to the ongoing subsidence at the summit. And sulfur dioxide emissions at the summit have dropped to levels of about half what was observed before the onset of the current eruptive activity but gas and minor amounts of ash are still being transported downwind.